Hey people of the interweb, I'm Nostalgic Dave and welcome back to Lynn. Oh, Daddy, you ready for a conversation? Ender, I guess? I want you to study hard. I want you to get a good job. I want you to make something of yourself. You know that, don't you, sweetie? Yes, and that's what's stressing her out, probably. You just see? All of a sudden, my throat feels dry. Yeah, I don't really blame you. My head pulsates. Full of millipedes is my mind, dear wife. I think that's from Shakespeare, Macbeth. I haven't heard that line since high school. <laughs> we were studying it in school. At least I remember something. Yeah, I mean, something's better than nothing. Too bad all the things I remember are completely worthless. You never know. You never really know nowadays. But why am I t but why am I telling you this? You're a good girl, a smart girl. You might not be great at math or science, but I know you'll ace English for sure. Your English teacher always said nice things about you at parents' evening. That's good. Dad ruffles the top of my head. Well, at least he's aware that she's not great at all the topics, and if she fails those, that kind of emphasizes that if he's rude about it, then it's on himself. <laughs> You'll do all right, love. You'll do all right, love. I have faith in you. You'll make your old man proud. Jazz never did, but you're different. I hope you don't let me down. The way you phrased it, I highly doubt I will. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. What are you doing? I sigh softly. Vague noises escape from my lips. What kind of noises were that? <laughs> what kind of noises were that? I know how to English. I hardly sound intelligent, but at least I'm sentient. I know I still exist. It's the middle of the night, and the lights are dim, and the sky's filled with stars, but I still exist. I don't need to find proof of my own worth from strangers on the internet like Susie does. I don't extort older men for clothes and shoes and accessories online while pretending to be somebody I'm not. I don't want to. I don't think any man, nor... Is that what that says? It looks like Nan, but I would assume it's man. No ma- Oh yeah, I get it. I don't think any man, no matter how desperate, would want to go out with me, either. Wow, that's- That's kind of harsh on yourself, you know? I've never been good at playing pretend. Not like Susie. When we were little kids, Susie was always the one to who created the complicated backstories for our... Oh my gosh. It's just like... I, I feel like if I were a girl, that's what I would do too. <laughs> or divvied up the roles when we played at being happy families. I've never had much of a model to go on. Eh, that's fair. Mm. <sighs> what are you doing? I gasp. I tip my head back. My hair is wedged beneath my head, and it hurts a little. It tugs at my scalp whenever I shift, but I try to ignore it. Is that really a wise decision? If nobody else wants me, no man or woman, then I can at least want myself. That's a very good way to look at it. Not many people look at it that way, unfortunately, but that's a very good way to look at it. Since I share a bedroom with Jazz, I don't often get a chance to do this. I might as well make the most of it. Jazz is still out. I don't know what she's doing or where she is, but she's probably with Vaughn. Dad was livid when he discovered Jazz still wasn't back home by 11 o'clock. Dad tried to keep his voice down, but I could hear him murmuring angrily to Mom in their room. That girl has no sense of respect. I'll wring her neck when she gets back. Really? You're her father. Why would you do that? The walls in our house are thin. I can hear everything from my bedroom. 
I can hear the wind rattling my window pane. I can hear the faulty taps in the bathroom. I can hear the humming of the fridge downstairs. Wow. Sometimes I can hear the springs of mom and dad's bed creaking. I wish I couldn't. They should really get a new bed then. When we were younger, Jazz and I used to giggle about it. Jazz giggled about it, rather, and then went on to tell me about where babies come from and exactly what mom and dad were doing in excruciating detail. Wow, because I'm sure she wants to hear that. <laughs> I told Jazz she was gross. She laughed and told me I was being a baby. Jazz was nine then. All right, that's a different story. Ew. Seriously, Jazz? Wow. I was six. Okay, then she really doesn't need to know that yet. I haven't heard the springs in Mom and Dad's room creaking for a while. More often than not, I just hear low, angry murmuring. Arguing. Sometimes it's quiet. Sometimes it isn't so quiet. The house is almost quiet now, but it's a deceptive silence that contains something deeper, something darker. The wind outside, the slow, steady dripping of the bathroom taps, the sad sniffling sounds my mother makes when she sleeps, my own soft sighs. <sighs> Are you sure you're not like... Doing something else, maybe? Maybe you're just having a panic attack? Maybe? I mean, your stress level's at freaking 65 right now. By the way, when I look at this way, I'm looking directly at where the stress level is. I mean, I mean, look at that. <laughs> there. I'll, I'll just start doing that whenever I refer to the stress level. I don't know where I'm pointing because I can't see myself, but eh, I don't care. <laughs> I wonder what I should think about. I don't really know. Think about ponies. Anything but mom and dad. Susie's told me a little about this before. She's had boyfriends, and now she has Aki, and I've had... And I've... And I've have had sex ed classes. I'm trying to take this slowly, that way I don't screw that up. But I'm not really good at this. I'm not good at making myself feel good. I'd look it up online, but there's only one shared computer in the house, and I'm too worried somebody will find out what I've been searching for. I don't know what to do, so I grope and poke ineffective, ineffectually and hope for the best. I don't really understand my body. It's strange and alien. Whenever I shower or take a bath, I try not to look at it too much. How are you supposed to clean it if you're not looking at it? My body makes me feel depressed. Why? I thought my teenage years were meant to be the best of your life. Why then do I look so ugly? Oh my god. So many women are like this. It's kind of sad. But... They let themselves down. Personally, I just say they look... People look fine. I mean, I don't, I don't get why people bring themselves down so often about their appearance. I just don't understand that. Of course, that, that's just me. Other people would. I don't... I think I look fine. Um, you know, aside from the facial hair, which I'm going to shave later on, but still... <laughs> Even with facial hair, I mean, I, I still look fine to me, depending on how my top hair is. Right now, it wouldn't match, in my opinion, as well, but, I mean, still. Whether I look bad or not, I don't bring myself down and say I'm ugly. But again, that's just me. Maybe I just don't understand the circumstances. I don't just look ugly, I feel ugly. That might be why you think you look ugly then. Okay, well, actually, people usually down are usually the ones who do say that, so I guess that makes sense. Continue doing this. 
is ugly. What are you doing? You're literally just sitting there, aren't you? I don't deserve to feel good. Maybe that's why it doesn't feel good. There's too much guilt attached. And awkwardness, too. Because my parents might wake up at any second. <sighs> Wait a minute, are you masturbating? Is that what's going on here? Maybe if I whimper beneath my breath, like they do during the sec- Yeah, you're masturbating, of course you are. <laughs> like they do during the sex scenes in all the movies I've ever seen. It'll feel good. Question mark? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> but the sex scenes in movies are all staged. Well, duh! Even if they weren't, they usually involve at least two people, and there's only one of me. There will only ever be one of me. I'll always be alone. Wow, that's just depressing. No attractive men will try to propose... Prop proposition? I haven't heard that in that way before. No attractive men will try to proposition me online. They'll never buy me expensive gifts in exchange for long, drawn-out, loveless cyber sex. No boys will try to get me drunk at parties. Fuck me in Vaughn's bedroom, then leave without giving a name or their phone number. No guy will want to hold my hand or kiss my lips or say that he loves me because, according to Susie, romance is dead and I shouldn't hope for too much in this day and age. That's bullshit. That is utter bullshit. Why else do you... Quote, Why else do you think so many guys watch me when I live stream? It's because they're lonely. Maybe, maybe everyone's lonely. Isn't that why I'm doing this? I don't know. Neither do I! It doesn't make me feel better. Uh, I sound unconvinced. I should really stop making those sounds because, ugh. I sound unconvincing. My soft gasps are hollow and empty and devoid of emotion. I must look so stupid. I feel stupid. And I'm supposed to be the smart one. You are the smart one! If I was more like her. But why am I thinking about that? Which her are you talking about? I tense. My fingers spasm. My back arches, but not because I've managed to achieve climax or anything like that. I don't know what that feels like. Susie says it feels good. I'll take her word for it. Susie lost her virginity at the start of this school term. She's only 15. That's young. Yeah, it is. Not just young. It's illegal. Yes, it is! I mean, I'm pretty sure that's illegal everywhere. <laughs> it's especially shocking considering Susie is supposed to be a good girl who comes from a nice and normal family. Eh, is anybody good nowadays as far as that topic goes? There probably are some. I mean, that no, yeah, there are some, but overall, I, there's, that's like a fraction, a small fraction of the rest of the world. Her dad watches birds and her mother translates manuals for assembling TVs and kitchen cupboards. I don't think they ever argue. They don't seem like the arguing sort. But Susie still lost her virginity when she was 15, so maybe that's the normal thing that girls do? I think Jazz was around that age too, but I haven't. I've never held hands with a boy, let alone kissed one. Let alone... anything else. Wow. I mean, you're 15, so you've got a lot of time. They're just doing things legally, so it's not exactly... on you. Maybe I shouldn't try to think about guys. It's not really working. It just makes me feel even more aware of just how alone I am. A girl, then? Should I think about a girl? Susie? No, not Susie. She is Aki. Then... <sighs> what about the other me? The Lynn with the extra E? 
whose name would be worth more points than mine on a Scrabble board. Does she know how to do this properly? I doubt it. She's so prim and proper. She never talks to anyone in class. Usually those kind of people can surprise you. But why would you even... Be unless, unless you want to be lesbian, I don't know why you would bother. Maybe you want to be lesbian, I don't know. When we learned about sex in class, she faced forwards and looked attentive enough, but in this kind of distant way. Yeah, it was about the same. Like it had nothing to do with her. Like she was never, ever going to have sex with anybody. Any boy. Not like I can judge. I bet I'll never, ever have sex with a boy either. I'm going to die sad and alone. I hope Lynn does, too. Wow, that's just sad. Why? <sighs> if you two have this much in common, why don't you two just try to work together to find something that would work? Rather than doing this, being depressed? It wouldn't be fair if she has a better love life than me. She's already prettier than me, and smarter, and her family's richer than mine. Well... Why does she have to take everything I want? It's not fair. Maybe it's because she comes from a better household than I do. I mean, you can't blame her for it. She, she's about living, as far as her life alone goes, she's, it kind of seems like she's living the same life you are. She's just got a richer family. That's about it. Lynn's shoes are never scuffed, and the pleats of her skirts are always crisp and neatly ironed. Could I look pretty like her, if I tried? Probably, yeah. I don't know. Thinking about it. Lynn does have quite a nice body. Yep, you're a lesbian. <laughs> I wonder what it would feel like if she touched me. If she kissed- Didn't I say this in the first episode? That my character was lesbian? Didn't I say that? <laughs> if she kissed me? If her tongue was inside my mouth? What would that feel like? I can tell you're wanting that. I work my fingers around slowly, tracing circles in an intimate place. Okay. Don't need to know this. I'm a little too embarrassed to actually name. I've never tried thinking about a girl like this before. Least of all, Lynn. It's strange. Maybe that's why I'm a little louder than usual. Yep, okay. She's definitely lesbian. <laughs> But I can't be loud. The walls are too thin. I don't want my parents to hear me. But it's starting to feel good. And I'm getting kind of wet. And I... Yep, you're definitely lesbian. Wait, did... Was that a negative? Hold, hold on, hold on. Was that, what... I'm gonna rewatch this. If I was at 67 and that just took off too, because I, I haven't really been paying attention to that. If that's the case, then holy crap! I... Oh my god. It is taking it off. Uh, Lynn? What on earth are you doing? Oh, fuck. Oh, god. Hi. Well, ah. Uh. For a few moments, I forgot about being quiet. The thought goes out of my head altogether. It's hard to be quiet when your big sister is standing the doorway of your shared bedroom looking at you with evident amusement, with one hand resting against her large pregnant belly. J jazz I pulled my hand away from between my thighs like I've been burnt. I think I really am burning. My face is red raw. Well, I mean, that's a metaphor, so yeah, I guess metaphorically, yes. It's a good thing I still have the covers pulled up around me. <laughs> But it should have been obvious what I was doing. You could have knocked. Sorry, sorry. I didn't know you'd be doing that while I was gone. You always seem like such a good girl. Jess snickers. She looks wickedly amused. Like she's seen something hilarious. Wow. Like I'm hilarious. <sighs> I don't even know. Who would ever take me seriously anyway? Oh, God. 
My face burns. I pull my debate about me tightly. I wrap it about my body like a shield. I wish I could kid myself. It's an invisibility cloak. But Jazz's eyes are still boring into me. Ugh. I can hear Dad shifting around in his sleep in my parents' room. The springs of the old, old mattress that needed replacing ten years ago creak. I hold my breath, waiting. But after that, he falls silent. The soft sound of his snoring permeates the house once more. The tap in the bathroom continues to drip. <laughs> At least you didn't wake him up. <laughs> Fair enough. Jazz shuts the bedroom door behind her with a soft thud. Is he mad at me? Livid. Thought so. Why were you out so late anyway? I was at Vaughn's. We were watching Saw. It's actually a really good movie. I mean, I wouldn't be mad if that's all she was doing. I mean, you can't, you can't control the time of a freaking movie. <laughs> Why Saw? It's a, it's a good movie. Damn it. <laughs> Cause it's awesome! Yeah! <laughs> I don't think Saw is something pregnant women should be watching. Well, you'd have to be- you ha you'd have to scare easily and she doesn't, so... They should put a warning on it. Like, alcohol or cigarettes, the baby might be born all messed up. That's not how that works. That is not how that works at all. Is that how serial killers are made? No! I just meant to watch the first one, I swear, but then Vaughn brought out the second and third, and okay. Well, I kinda wanted to marathon them. How many of them did you watch? Didn't you worry what Dad would say? A bit, but I didn't want to think about Dad. Fair enough. I'm an adult. I should be allowed to do what I want. Yeah, I, I, I would think so. And you want to watch Saw? Yep. It's not even Halloween, so... I watch horror movies all the time. For heaven's sakes, I'm planning on watching Slenderman. Uh, yeah, the Slenderman. But I got that... I got the fright of my life when I came back, let me tell you. <laughs> wow. You're horrible. Oh, come on, she's just teasing. Stop it. Jazz Snickers again. I'm just te get yeah, see. Don't t don't take it to heart. You're a healthy young girl. It's perfectly normal you'd want to enjoy yourself a little. Thank you. <laughs> Sh shut up. It's not a bad Lynn. It's not a bad thing. Gah. Don't look so huffy. I'm a girl too. I know what it's like. But be quiet. Lynn, she's trying to be supportive. Stop it. Though, you did sound a bit like a dying cow. Shh. Oh, my God. Seriously? I was trying to help you. Now you're saying this? J Jasmine. I want to shout at her, but I can't risk wa waking Dad. Dad gets angry enough as it is, without being roused in the middle of the night. And I hate to think what he would say to Jazz once he sees she's back. Oh yeah. None of us want to think about that. All I can do is whisper angrily instead. I'm mad Jazz has taken away even my right to be angry. How? That's just, that's just gonna be the name. I'm questioning so much at this point that that's what I'm naming this episode. I don't care. I question so much. I'm mad Jazz has taken away even my right to be angry, but I've never been very good at expressing myself. Yeah, evidence has shown that. What? I'm just saying. You don't have to say. 
Well, sorry for trying to give you some advice. Wouldn't you rather it come from me than a future boyfriend? At this rate, I highly doubt she's going to have one, but... Yeah, I'm never going to have a boyfriend. You're right. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty damn sure you're going to have a girlfriend instead. That's probably going to piss her dad off, though. Well, your legs are getting kind of hairy. D don't talk about my body like that. Hey, don't sweat it. I'm not exactly rocking a bikini body here, either. Fair enough. Jazz pats her stomach. I pout in return, and Jazz laughs. She ruffles my hair. Don't worry, Lynn. This is just between you and me. I won't tell anyone. R really She's a nicer sister than you give her credit for, you know? And I know I've said this before. Yeah. Although... What? Jazz prods me in the cheek. You were pulling some weird fucking faces. It looked like you'd been possessed. It was all it was actually pretty scary. Okay. All right then. Oh, come on. My face burns bright red with shame. I'm going to regain Oh, wait, no, I didn't regain all the stress cuz at the beginning of this I was like, what? Yeah, I was at 67 at the beginning of this. So, everything's made out of concrete. Oh, God. The walls, the floor, the ceiling. What the hell? The ceiling. All right, you know what? We'll save this dream for next time. We'll see how it goes down. I'm going to save in the first file right there. And I'm going to leave this episode here. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, Push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. Oh gosh, I've got hiccups and I don't know what. Stop it! <laughs> if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!